last night, but it's a beautiful day because we've got the Nova and we're at the racetrack. Now, we're not quite race ready. I really have no anticipation for this race, honestly. It's local, so I said, let's go out there, let's support, let's have fun. No high hopes or nothing. I just wanna see, hopefully I can make a pass and maybe a pass turns into two, maybe into three, who knows. But it's really, we're just here to have a good time today and uh, just to get more time in the car. So we got a tune uploaded in it. It's a little crazy, but we're gonna try it and uh, see what happens. Like I said, it's. We're not trying to win a damn thing, but we're also 24th pair left lane. So 23 pairs in front of us. It should probably come around a little bit by then. I'm really looking forward to it. Look, we're racing again. It's a good day. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
came in quick damn that's all right we still had fun though look that that pass was definitely a lot of fun and now we're obviously moving the right direction because we went significantly faster than we did the other night you just have that on in big jobs oh well we'll get them next time this thing's got a lot of potential because i can tell you right now that thing that pass there was a maximum of 18 pounds maximum which means we still got seven more to go probably should have put it in but it's all good hey i'm mad at it let's boogie ah, one of the things i don't know if i talked about when I was coming off the return route, two things. Number one, there was a vicious noise after I let out of the gas. I think that was just simple. Um, the MAC valves had a tube coming out of it, you know, to vent to the atmosphere. Well, I think the tube was just smacking all over the place. So I've removed the tube because it doesn't have to be there. And we're gonna see if that fixes the sound. Now, as far as the getting squirrely thing up top, I saw some videos. I didn't even think nothing of it because in car, when you guys saw the in car GoPro, it's pretty easy just a you know a little bit of minor corrections then a little bit of a bigger correction but then when i saw the outside the car videos i was like oh yeah that, that looked a little wild we've gone over the rear uh myself and my buddy justin everything we've all gone over we've been jumping up and down we've been trying to figure out everything's still set at neutral everything is still uh as good to go as we can see so i'm not sure why it did that it could have been the surface but i really want to make sure that it's not us I'd, much, I'd be much happier if it was the surface, but I want to play it safe and make sure that there's nothing going on here. We can't find anything. There's no seemable reason why it's doing what it's doing, but I've just been going over it, double checking. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to be having more, you know, open lanes, like if they're going to have, open up the lanes for like test and tune garage, that kind of stuff. I don't know that yet, uh, but I do know that our boy Brandon, say what's up, Brandon. What's up? Hey, he has made it into round two of all motor. So I want to go help him out. And if we get an opportunity to make another pass, we're going to probably make another one. The thing that we keep finding is the more and more and more and more and more power we give it, the happier and happier and happier and happier it is. 
So that's also why I want to make sure everything with the rear is good. We don't really have any leaks uh, that would be getting under the tires. So I want to make sure because every time we make a pass, we're going significantly faster than the time before. Got to be safe. Uh, if we don't get the opportunity, well, you know, we got, well, I already planned that this week was going to be a lot of just testing, 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 trying to get this thing figured out. So hopefully we can get it figured out. I'm not going to say hopefully. We will get it figured out. But the answer is just keep throwing more power at it. Let's do that. Oh, and I got new tires at home. And I got some other parts on the way. So we'll do some of that stuff too. Now let's go help Brandon. I will say, I'm usually not a fan. You guys know I don't like Mustangs. But Fox Bodies in particular. But this one here is absolutely beautiful. He recently just traded for this. He traded his S10. This is an all-motor Ford-powered car, which is like a triple whammy for me because you know it's a mustang and it's ford powered but i do like the sn95 body style he put the wing on and when he put the wing on it really changed the whole profile of the car but it runs really good it's really pretty healthy and he's been doing a good job so let's see if we can get any further in the rounds with him today
all day to try the spicy boy tune up which was 14 pounds on the leave it just it was like just swaying the whole way <laughs> I don't know in there it just feels like I'm going like this I'm sure from back here you guys are like holy shit but to me, I'm probably you and the other lane <laughs> it got to a point where it was like it was swaying I was like nah Justin's another lane I'll let it out <laughs> So uh, spicy boy tune up didn't really, it still did it 60 foot. It probably looked faster just cause it was like wild, but um, but wasn't much faster, but that's why we come out and do this. I think it probably still could use more air pressure in the tires. Uh, we keep going up and up. Power, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna make it 60 foot any better. Like we can keep adding power, but at some point, it just it, it's only gonna do what it's gonna do i know when i was in there like it boost came in quick i felt really good about that it started going like this and i was like here we go again suggestion right now is try a bunch more air pressure that was at 13 and a half pounds i mean i'm gonna be straight up i don't think i don't think that we gain a whole lot by going up to like above 14. i think 14 is kind of like where my limit is could be that because we need new tires or if we're at the track and they're gonna let us let's put 15 pounds of air pressure and see what it does like don't change the tune-up leave it exactly the same and just rock and roll that way so maybe we'll try that i want to look at the data log just make sure i mean it felt good it felt like boost came in really quick and yeah well it was weird when i got to the starting line it did this thing where it just oh, yeah. like it just like oh they all thought i hit your cutoff switch back there because it was like, that's what I thought. I was like, like what happened here? I, 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 would hear it. I turned everything off and then turned it back on and it was fine. Yeah, I was like, I wouldn't hear it's got a big ass bumper off that we're near hitting it. I think it, the belt has moved. Oh, it pushed the tooth in. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let me look at the log and maybe we'll try some more tire pressure. A lot more.
trying to straighten that one out. Shredded it okay. straight up shredded it and uh, it started to get loose again So there was no need to even like I let go of the button and I felt it starting to go one way And I was like why drive it? There's no there's no need this week There will be a lot on the to-do list a bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily think we need like You know we talked to people oh, all about bushings. Well, I've got solid aluminum bushings in the leaf spring So I don't think I need new solid aluminum bushings but I have an extra set, so maybe we'll throw them in and try that. Uh, definitely new tires, maybe get up one of the alignment rack again. Not really sure, but we'll go through, we'll figure it all out. Overall, great day. We are dangerously close to going as fast as the Nova has ever gone with not a, you know, a decent amount of boost, but not all of it yet. And if we could get the 60 foot down, we would do great things with 15 16 pounds of boost like, not a big deal great day bunch of racing we got to make a couple extra passes we'll let it cool down a couple minutes we'll put it back on the trailer and then we'll start maintaining it and upgrading whatever we can along the way and this thing is going to be bad like you guys don't understand the ets were running with minimal passes on this thing and effort and boost and everything else like i have high hopes for the future but to have them high hopes, we got to be able to get down the surface. So let's figure that out.